Hi friends, well, my name is Vivek and today I would like to show you how to open SSH on individual ESXi host without using vCenter. To begin with, I would like to open PuTTY sessions and I have the screen here, PuTTY configuration and in the save, setting, save session I have some machines already. So as of now, uh, I need to select esxi-01a.corp.local I'll select this host and open and the moment when I press open or click open button it will take me to it will take me directly into the screen where my login ID is been captured and will not allow me to enter any login ID I am straight into the configuration mode into the ESXi. So, what he, what you need to do here, you need to type DCUI. That means direct U console user interface. Just press enter. And the moment when you press enter or hit enter, you will find a screen like this. All the time, at this time, I am using VMware ESXi 6.5.0 and uh, what do you need to do here you need to press F2 button a key the moment when you press F2 key uh, you it will ask you to enter your credentials let me en enter my credentials here and root login name is root by default you don't need to do anything if you have made any changes then you need to type your username which is configured already in my case root is by default I just hit enter and I gain my credentials and now you will see a screen like this and uh, what I will go what I will do I will come to the option called troubleshootings and I'll hit enter and it will ask me uh, there is some options which is already uh, on the left hand side you can see enable ESXi shell disable SSH and modify ESXi shell and SSH timeout so my goal is today I need to enable SSH only and ESXi shell so shell is already enabled sorry ESXi, ESXi uh, shell is disabled so what I need to do you need to hit enter so you can see on the right hand side on the black portion ESXi shell is enabled that means it is enabled now and on the left hand side when you see on the white uh, color uh, side on the left side it shows that disable SSH when you see on the right hand side and black screen it shows SSH is enabled that means your SSH was enabled already you don't need to do anything what I what we have done as of so far uh, we have just enabled ESXi shell so that's what I wanted to show you we have many options to play with this um, direct user console user interface where you can do many settings so as of now uh, I will sh uh, on the later video on the now the next video I will show you some other options where you can play with the IP address and you can trace you can do troubleshooting you can check the logs and some other stuffs as well for now thank you very much and please subscribe my video for more um, videos and uh, and channel thank you very much